Well, one owner car guy and out here fixing on some cars. And I don't know if you've ever used this touch up paint, but I've got this deal where it's like this and the people primered it and scratched it. And I'm not taking the time to do this 100%. I'm just going over their primer work. You can see these sand scratches. It is not gonna end up having the exact finish that I would like here. However, it is gonna match a heck of a lot better. And I don't care to put a couple hundred dollars into this to fix it. And so this is the route we chose to take. Now I should have had some 400 and I should have had some of this. But just the way things go, I'm moving right now and I don't have exactly what I need to have, make sure I didn't paint my lens there, at hand. So I am putting a nice coat of this on here and I might put a second coat later. It is not gonna be the level of work I like to have. But I'll tell you what, it's gonna match better and it's gonna look good. This stuff goes on pretty nice um, with proper prep work. It would have went on a lot nicer. But I'll rip all the tape off here in a, about 20 minutes or so and show you. Like I say, not perfect, but at the same time, wasn't looking for perfect and I've got enough left here. I'm gonna give it to the people. And if they wanna do some proper prep work, this could look probably 95%. Lots of people wouldn't notice it like it is. I'm gonna disclose it in my video and tell people and tell them I'm gonna include the paint. But one owner car guy, I've got a lot of different older cars and such and once again, this is a Rust-Oleum automotive touch-up. This one here is a Tordor Red for a Ford. Um, and it's on my Jeep, as you can see. But that's about the finish. I think we're going to get as good of a finish there without actually cutting into it or something now. It actually looks really good right there but you can see a few ripply things because of improper prep work. Just didn't have what it takes. Things ready to picture and stuff, and well, this is what we went with. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll clip something else here in a second. Well, one owner car guy, back at you. And it should be a little tacky still, which is what I'm looking for here in this particular case. And I'm gonna, Yank this off. That's what she said. You do this with a camera and don't let it fall down on it. It's an interesting task. Okay, here's the test. Pretty darn close. That's all there is to say. You're gonna see a ridge, a light ridge. And I could have feathered it in a little bit better along the edges. And given the chance again, I might have went to the bottom there. Knowing now that it matches so well. However, this open. Oh no! It'll match the overspray on this side. Actually, that is from before. <laughs> I only got a little bit. So as you can see, it's a pretty darn close match. Um, you may not always get so lucky, 
on the match. But your prep work will probably be better. And so your final job will probably be better also. Um, like I say, just trying to make this look nice and appealing, not rust out again, and cheaply to where I'm not adding a bunch of cost for the end user, because who knows? I mean, if it was me with one of these, it's not gonna take me very long to figure out that I'm just not gonna be happy without wood on the sides. I mean, I'd be a certain amount of happy because these things drive just awesome. But my happiness is going to stop at some point when I see somebody else with wood on the sides. I'll be like, oh man! Well, as you can see, on many, many levels, you really can't even hardly tell. You can tell. I will point it out that there's some kind of damage there. But, um, yeah, that's the deal. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. This one's coming up next, man. Um, I'll include that with it to where they've got it. Um, as you can see, it's got its own little checkeredness and chip here or there and you know whoever has it might end up painting it and that's why i'm not going the full route on this one well one owner car guy one owner car guy.com check out my website beaglespocket.com and you can check out moviecarsguy.com that'll go to the same one as one owner car guy now so uh subscribe on facebook add me on facebook i'm giving away a free car and you can win anyone can win Check out my channel. I've got a couple videos on it on there. And you need to enter. You need to subscribe. Watch. You don't have to subscribe to win, but you'll get updates. Um, so make sure and play. Free car. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com